Dear friends, in this video, we are going to discuss how to multiply any natural number with 11. Gyarase, kisi bhi natural number ko gyarase kaise multiply karna, abhi hum is video mein seekhte hai. Any natural number with 11, right? So what are its extended applications that we'll see in the see later? So first, how to multiply any natural number with 11, we'll see now. Suppose I have taken a very simple multiplication, 123 into 11. 123 into 11, right? So this is a very, very basic and very simple. So you have to start, take the number 123. That means 1, 2, 3 is the given number. So you have to start the calculation from the units place. That means you should start writing the answer from the units place. Units number as it is you write. That means 3 comes as 3. And from the units number, add the adjacent numbers and write the sum here. So the adjacent numbers ko add karke, uske sum yaha pe likna, units number se shuru karke. Right, 2 plus 3 gives you 5 and now 1 plus 2 gives you 3 and now 1 comes as it is like this. Now your answer is 1353. Add the adjacent number starting from the first last number as it is, first number as it is and in the middle number, for the middle numbers what you have to do starting from the units place, you have to add the adjacent numbers starting from the units place and write the sum here. Now I will take one more number uh, to show this example, to show this how uh, to show how this trick works like. Now I have taken a four digit number 1502, 1000, sorry 1352 into 11. So I am starting from the units place, 2 comes as 2 as it is, 2 comes as it is, 2 comes as 2. Now starting from the units place, add the adjacent numbers and write the sum here. 5 plus 2 will give you 7, 5 plus 3 will give you 8, 1 plus 3 will give you 4 and 1 comes as 1 as it is. Your answer will be 14,872. 14,872 is the answer. Now my dear friends, you may get a doubt. Sir, in these calculations, there are no carry forwards. Every time you are getting a single digit sum, just like 5 plus 3 is 8, that is a single digit number. 1 plus 3 is 4, that is a single digit number. Sometimes if double digit sum comes, what we have to do? That means we have to take care of the carry forwards also. That carry forwards case, we will be seeing now. And suppose you need to multiply 785 into 11. 785 into 11, right? Now, 5 comes as 5 as it is. Now, 8 plus 5 will give you 13. 3 here, 1 carry forward. Always one number, units number you have to write here. Remaining numbers as a carry forward. 8 plus 5, 13, 3 here, 1 carry forward. 7 plus 8 gives you 15. 15 plus 1, any carry forwards? Yes. 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 plus 1 kya? 16. 16. Again, 1 carry forward. Now, 7 is coming down. But before letting down 7, any carry forwards? Yes. What is 7 plus 1? 7 plus 1 kya? 8. So, now your answer is 8635. When carry forwards are coming, you have to take care of carry forwards like this. Now, in the same carry forwards, we will go for one more example. Now, 683 into 11. 683 into 11. 3 comes as 3 as it is. 8 plus 3 will give you 11. 11 means 1 here, 1 carry forward. 6 plus 8 will give you 14. 14 plus 1 kya? 15. 5 here. Again, 1 carry forward. Before letting down 6, any carry forwards are there? Yes. 6 plus 1 kya? 7. Your answer is 7513. So now I hope you clearly understood when carry forwards are involved also, you can do the multiplication of 11s in a very easy way, something like this. Now my dear friends, if decimals are there, if decimals are there, then also it is very easy. Suppose my dear friends, 68.3 into 1.1. If you remove the decimals and see, this is nothing but 683 into 11. So after the after the point, there is one digit here. After the point, there is one digit here. That means in the product, there should be two digits after the point. 75.13 will be your answer. So in this way, we can handle the decimal cases also. Now, just now I told you what are its extended applications. Extended applications, kya dekhte Friends, not only with 11, you can use this any natural number into 22. Any natural number into 33, any natural number into 44, because my dear friends, 22 is nothing but 2 into 11, right? 
22 is nothing but 2 into 11. 33 is nothing but 3 into 11. 44 is nothing but 4 into 11. That means into 22, into 33, into 44. Whenever this kind of multiplication comes, so you can use this 11 concept here. If, if you are multiplying a number with 22, that means double the number and multiply with number. Will multiply with 11. If you are multiplying any natural number with 33, that means triple the number and multiply with 11. If you are multiplying any natural number with 44, quadruple the number, that means multiply, make that number 4 times and then 11. Again 11 comes into the picture. So we can use this 11 concept for multiplication with 22s, 33s, 44s, 55s and so on, so on, so on like that. Let us see some example by taking a number. Friends, I am taking a number called 35. For a reference, I am taking a number called 35. Suppose you need to multiply with 22. And 22 is nothing but uh, 2 into 11. So 35 into 2 into 11. That means 70 into 11. That means nothing but it is nothing but 70 into 11. Just like that you can write the answer is 770. Okay, like that we can write. That means double the number into 11. Suppose 35 into 33 karna hai aapko. 35 into 33 karna hai aapko. That means 35 into 3 into 11. Now the technique will be very useful for you. 105 into 11. 105 into 11. That means 5 as it is. 5 plus 0, 5. 1 plus 0, 1. And 1 as it is. 1155 will be the product of 35 into 33. Right? Now the same 35, I am multiplying with 44. So 35 you have to make it 4 times and then multiply with 11. So what is 35 4s are? 35 4s are 140. That means 72 are into 140. Now 0 comes as 0. 4 plus 0 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. And 1 comes as it is. 1540 is the product of 35 into 44. 35 and 44 ka product hota hai 1540. Right? So this is, uh, this is the full concept behind the multiplication of any number, any natural number with 11. Then decimals also we can uh, uh, handle it very easily uh, by the regular technique, right? Okay. Now, friends, there is one more concept based on all one digit numbers. Students are often getting confused in this 11 multiplication and all uh, one digit number, uh, one digit multiplications. Suppose my dear friends, 1 into 1 gives 1, 11 into 11s, but here I am thinking 2 ones into 2 ones will give you 121, 3 ones into 3 ones, what is this? So it often takes some time, but we can do it very easily. How many ones are there here? 3 ones, you are handling with 3 ones into 3 ones. So first of all, you start from 1 natural numbers and write in the ascending order up to 3, that means Jitne sare ones hai yaha pe, jitne sare ones ka multiplications ko tum handle kar rahe ho, one se shuru karke utna hi number likhna chahiye, that value, how many ones are there, up to that number you have to write, one, two, three. Because three ones are there here, I am starting with one and writing up to three, and come back to one in the descending order, two, one. That will be your answer. You can check in your calci, even before, even faster than calci, you will be able to get these answers. Suppose, four ones into four ones. So it is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4 because we are handling 4 ones into 4 ones and again come back to 1 in the descending order. 3, 2, 1. Same thing like 5 ones. 5 ones. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But there is a limitation for this pyramid. So this pyramid is valid only up to 9 ones into 9 ones. 9 ones into 9 ones. 9 ones into 9 ones. That means the answer will be, it will be very lengthy answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 will be the answer of 9 ones into 9 ones. 9 ones into 9 ones. So, this pyramid is valued only up to 9 ones into 9 ones. Why it is not valid from 10 ones into 10 ones? From 10 ones into 10 ones? Because carry forwards will come into the picture and they will disturb the order of this pyramid, right? So, this all ones multiplication, same ones into same, same number of ones, both are, both are having, both the numbers are having same number of ones. This kind of multiplication is valid only up to 9 ones into 9 ones. Now, my dear friends, a doubt arises. 
what if different ones are there there are four ones into four ones five ones into five ones three ones into three ones that is okay because the number of ones are same in both the same on both the sides now many students are sir what if number of ones are different suppose here two ones are there here three ones are there so that we will be de that very interesting case we will be dealing now okay now double one into triple one two ones into three ones how to do this whenever number of ones are different in both the cases first you look at those number where ones are least two ones and three ones so focus on this number this is the number of your choice first so one se shuru karke starting from one you have to write that natural number which is equal to number of ones here two so one two you have to write now my dear friends compare these two numbers how many extra ones you have got in this greater number you have got one extra number you have got one extra number so that means that many times how many times extra ones you have got jitne sare ones extra is greater number mein wahan tak ye number repeat ho jana chahiye this two should be repeated one more time since one extra one is there one more time you have to repeat this number then come back to one then come back to one that is the answer suppose my dear friends one more case i am dealing triple one into four ones so first i am taking this number because this is a number in lesser value first 1 2 3 1 2 3 so compare these two numbers how many extra ones the extra ones this greater number has this greater number has one extra one so that many times you have to repeat this last number that means 3 1 more 3 then come back to one in the descending order 123321 will be your answer right so one more example i will take now suppose 2 3 ones into 5 ones so first i am taking this number this is the number of my concern 1 2 3 1 2 so how many ones extra you have in this number you have got two ones extra that means two more times you have to repeat this number 3 3 then come back to one in the descending order so this will be your answer so first whenever ones are different in both the cases number of ones are different in both the cases first focus on the number of least value starting from one jitne sare numbers yaha pe aap least number pe dekh rahe ho write the value of natural numbers up to that digit that means three ones are there here starting from one you have to write up to three whatever the extra number of ones you find in the greater value number that many times this last number should be repeated and then come back to one in the descending order when the number of ones are different in both the cases this is how we have to handle the multiplications now my dear friends there is an interesting question that is given in a previous exam which blends both 11 multiplication and this all ones multiplication because that question is the actual purpose for which we are doing all this ground work we will be discussing that question now what is the answer for this calculation there are so many ones here many people will get parallax error by seeing this many ones right so 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 11.1 into 11.1 or sometimes 1.11 like this i just changed the decimals 11.1 into 1.11 friends this is 11 into 11 into 11 if you know the value of 11 cube you can do it like this or 11 into 11 will give you 121 121 into 11 kya so this is 1 this is 3 this is 3 this is 1 so after the point there is one number here after the point there is one number here after the point you have one number here your answer will be 1.331 like that you can do now go for this is a different multiplication this is 3 ones into 3 ones the second topic that we have discussed 3 ones into 3 ones how many ones are there here three so starting from one up to three you have to write then come back to one after the point there are two digits here after the point there is one digit here so in the product there should be three digit after the point that is 12.321 12.321 so this is the real question both the a b questions are given under the same uh, question number so for these kind of questions the, uh, uh, the our topic just know whatever we have discussed our topic is highly useful so i hope our techniques are highly useful for you thank you